Hi, this is Chris. I'm here in San Bernardino, California today, looking at the San Andreas Fault. There's been a lot of uh, speculation lately that the fault will erupt sometime in the near future. So I just wanted to, to show you quickly today where you can see the fault and what exactly the fault is doing. So I'll show you a few uh, shots today of the fault and um, maybe learn some things you didn't know before. So right here on the side of the street here is where the San Andreas Fault crosses the road. And as you can see, the curb here has been deformed by the movement of the fault. And you can see here as the fault passes across the street and the deformed pavement, pavement continues here. Looks like there might be some recent activity as well. So as you can see, this is the curb where the San Andreas Fault crosses the street. I believe if you look up there on the side of that hill, that's the North American plate. Below is the Pacific plate. And this is the area where the fault crosses the street and you can see the deformed pavement here as well on the side of the street. So another location you can see the San Andreas Fault in San Bernardino. That's up here at the um, Hill Street, um, West Hill Street. You can definitely see where the North American plate is on the left hand side of the screen versus the right where the Pacific plate is at. And if you look down here on West Hill Street, you'll see that there's a drainage gut gutter right here that goes down the road. Now, just by looking at this, I can tell that the fault is close by because the gutter is a little bit off center. And also you can see that the pavement here has cracks in it, major cracks in it, right there. So it appears that the fault runs through this whole area. If you look up here at the pavement as well, you'll see that, like what we saw in the other location, pavement is kind of cracked and has been moved around. So definitely, I'm right here on the San Andreas Fault. Another location to see the San Andreas Fault here in San Bernardino is the Melissa and Bradley Newberry Memorial Park. The park sits directly on the San Andreas Fault with a child play area sitting right on top of the fault. Now, as you can see, there's some modern homes built up right above the fault line. And this whole area is right down the street where I showed you before that there was a rain gutter running down the middle of the street that side of alignment. So definitely this area is feeling the, the effects of the movement of the San Andreas Fault. And this is a very high risk area because the fault is directly underneath the, the park. In the back of the park, there's a fence that separates the park from the housing area above the hill. As you can see, the San Andreas Fault has moved the fence, kind of made it a bit askew, but you can definitely see that the fault has been moving here. This is Chris from SoCal Travel Destinations in San Bernardino at the San Andreas Fault. If you have any comments, please leave them below and please remember to subscribe. Thank you for watching.